test, test. Oh, yeah. Test. We good? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Before the Cut podcast. Obviously, we are Donna Soldier. Make sure you go say, <laughs> get better, Gio. Get well. Lower we replaced mercy. Gio with a tree. With a plant. A yeah. Nice beautiful. Yeah, a nice plant. Healthy, um, strong voice. It's plant. actually real. It's actually real. <laughs> I, really? I, I was actually very impressed. I was like, oh, damn, Gio, like, you got a real plant in the <laughs> shop. Bro, big money, Gio. But, uh, yeah, poor Gio. I don't um, know if those are real. The, uh, the, the rise and fall of Darth Vader, you know? He can, one, minute, <laughs> one minute he's here, uh, you know, with... with uh, Beautiful, strong voice. Yep. The next thing you know, he's got no voice. And got no voice. Now, uh, here we are sitting, uh, you, I, and our plant. What should we name him? Gio Jr., <laughs> we'll call him Junior. <laughs> Junior. 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 Anything yeah. to say? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's shaking a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a girl. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. I'm sorry. No, just kidding. No, but listen. Uh, yeah, we got to hold it down. Jill's not feeling too well. But here we are. Another week. Another week. Got to be consistent. Can you hear us, bro? Got to be consistent. Can, <laughs> Yo, we got our mics back, We got too. our mics back. The I mics apologize. That was Junior's yep. fall last time. Messed yep. up the whole vibe. But yep. hey, check it out. We're right here. We got our drinks in this beautiful studio, and we're ready to get it cracking. Um, Yo, you think Trump going to jail or no? Trump? Daddy Trump, I think, going to jail. Bro. Don't drop the soap, homie. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think my boy is Yo. finally going to jail, bro. Not look at look. I'm not trying to say like I'm happy and shit, but explain a little bit like what happened with him and, and yeah, yeah. So, so uh, Trump's uh, Trump's home in Florida yeah. um, was was raided by the FBI, and they I guess they came across eleven documents, and apparently these these documents, which when it, it first came out, uh, the first thing Trump said was these are declassified documents. Um, he made it very clear that, you know, this, this was all these, um, all declassified, mm. uh, on the, on the flip side of it, the other news stations, the media, um, white house representatives, I don't know who came out and said it. Uh, but they were like, no, these are not declassified documents. Um, there is, uh, classified documents. There's top secret. Shit there's, uh, a top secret document. S aliens. And then there's, That's um, it. confidential documents. So apparently they, they classify them in, in three categories. Um, obviously the, the, the most, uh, secretive, um, that can affect, uh, national security, yeah. um, is, is, is um, is a, is a top secret. So top secret was like the big deal. Yeah. Um, and yeah, uh, so well, he's, he, he apparently, um, you know, got caught with fifth, 11 like, you different know, pussy, bro. No, it's good. He yeah. did did you see that? So I don't, I don't know really what's going to happen, bro. Um, no, I don't know. I, it's interesting. A lot of people are getting super excited, like, oh, he's going to go to this. But, like, here's the thing, bro. Like, I'm not a huge fan of him, whatever, not to talk about politics. But, like, you know, it's interesting because if if nothing happens from this, like, bro, there was even videos, like, where there was documents trying to be flushed on the toilet. Like, all of this weird shit, right? Cra I, like, it's, see, it's see, right I, there. I, I, I didn't hear any of that. Bro, there was, there was some that he was trying to flush. There was um, a bunch of, I, I don't think it was 11. I think it was a lot more. I think oh, it was just from the, all of those, those 11 were the ones that should not have been there. Now, there was theories going around, of course, like, you know, the top, the national security stuff is obviously dangerous because yeah. he has ties with Putin and like, you know, who knows yeah. what could have been, Yeah. who knows what can, could have yeah. came from that. Now, is there really a threat of that? Some people say yeah, some people say no. I think if it shouldn't leave there, then it shouldn't be like what yeah. you're doing with them in your house. But, like, the biggest thing is that if nothing comes from this and it's, like, another hoax or whatever, yeah, yeah. bro, he becomes fucking, he just jumps right back up to every single yeah. conversation. He's the yeah. man. People are trying to get him out of here. And it's just, like, <laughs> bro, and, and it's just, it's a, it's a continuation, yeah. like, pushing both sides out of here. You know what I mean? And I think yeah. that's more detrimental to everything. You know what I mean? Bro, the, the whole thing is so messy. And I think what's, uh, to your point, is going to be the most interesting is... You know, there's there's all talk of you know how how, how Biden's doing you know during yeah, his time. Um, I I heard the ratings just came out. It was like actually the the worst um, 
worst presidential what's it called when they're essentially like the midterms um oh. uh, how how happy america is yeah, yeah, yeah. um oh. you know with him it, it was like an all-time low bro it was yeah. like i think high 30s low 40s something like that so um obviously biden's been on the hot seat for everything going on in the u.s we talked about some of that stuff whether it's the gas prices whether it's inflation um well you know all these international relations were in some weird relationships honestly right now and it's gonna affect yeah, um you, you know food it's gonna affect a, a lot of stuff um but i think what's so interesting is you know biden has has been struggling obviously during his term and trump has been you know extremely active again lately um there's all this talk that he's he's about to announce um his presidential run for yeah. for 2024 so uh yeah, it's it's like it's weird. It's um, scary. Not it's, scary. It's, it's, I, I think it's it, it's pretty funny how ironically he's been you know super vocal about running again, super low, uh, super vocal about going up against Biden again. Biden, you know, says that he is going to go for another term. Um, I mean, I don't know if Biden can do another term. I don't think the so, motherfucker either. might die. I think um, <laughs> yeah, I dude, just go to sleep. For like, like he's a walking zombie at it this point. It is pretty point. terrible to see. Yeah, though. it is pretty fucking so, so hard to. I don't know, man. I think it's just uh, I, they, 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 this obviously was planned out. There's obviously you know like I yeah like. I don't want to get into all the political shit, but bottom of the line is is they've been going hard at Trump yeah. ever since ever since Biden took over and you know the the world has slowly been going down this, you know, spiral essentially. Um downward spiral. Yeah. Uh you know they they're always trying to put something on Trump. This because of Trump, the, this is caused because of him. If it yeah. wasn't for him doing this, it it wouldn't have, you know, caused this, etc. Um and now yeah. here and now here we go <laughs> but, about bro, like, this but raid. We're talking about the FBI though, but we're not talking about yeah. like, you know, somebody like uh Nancy talking about, "Well, he did this like, bro, when they get involved like for, I read yeah. this thing, it was like for a federal judge to sign a a, a search warrant on a president a 45th like this yeah. just gotta be they gotta yeah. for sure fucking know and like it's there's gotta no be. mistakes so that's why i'm like i don't think there's gonna be any mistakes yeah. here and like it is kind of amazing to see like people kind like on his side being like no it's it's, it's uh you know just coming up with all these things when it's just like bro they found the shit in this crib yeah you know what I mean? It's just Has like a, if somebody kills somebody and the gun is there, yeah. like, no, he didn't do it. Like, bro, it's yeah. in his fucking house. You know, has, has, has a president ever went to jail? I don't know. I think we're going <laughs> to fucking find out. Locked up. They, they won't let, let me out. Yo, Trump's going to be in the limo slapping some oh acorn. Oh, my God, bro. He's going to be getting yeah. fucking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, shout out to Big T. Good yeah. luck to you, my friend. Yeah, we'll um, see what happens there. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, um, bro, I mean, I know we've been trying to get you into this, the Spanish realm. Yeah. Trying to get you to listen to some Bad Bunny. If you notice, almost Yo. every reel I put, I got to put the Yo, Bad Bunny. Yo, huge Nicky Jam guy now. Bro, Nicky, yeah, yeah. He's, bro, yeah. I think he's, he's, going, he's going on tour again pretty soon, bro. I think I saw a flyer. Yeah, Nicky, uh, Nicky Jam, Bad Bunny. Um, so the Yankees going to be here this weekend. And the weekend is going to be here. Gasolina. Hey. Hey, my <laughs> shit. But bro, with um, Bad Bunny, I'm a, obviously I'm a huge fan, right? Um, his concerts have been going crazy, bro. Have you seen any, like, TikTok? I know I sent you, I, I think I sent you guys some earlier, like, in the group chat. Bro, he's doing, like, stadiums. He's going to be, he's been, like, in Atlanta, Miami. But it's so crazy, bro, because it's, like, he's such a crazy star that people are doing the wildest shit now. Like, there's like people, what? like, rushing stages, like, people throwing his phones, like, throwing shit at him, and, like, even what? if, and he's, like, just such a, like, cool, like, guy, like, he, you've never seen him get into, like, any issues, but, like, now he's, like, Atlanta, specifically, those people fighting in there, like, out there, yeah, um, just, like, the amount of people that were rushing the stage was kind of ridiculous, where he cut his set short, and he was yeah. basically, like, I'm never coming back to Atlanta again, yeah, so he, he's going through all these cities, and the wild shit is happening, and, like, because I like all of the stuff, like, that's all I see on my TikTok, yeah, and, um, it's it's just crazy bro like i've never seen so many people freak out like because of somebody it's kind of like if you see something like uh chris brown like people throw their bras yeah. and shit and like just yeah like, start going wild it just made me think like i don't know like i've never been to a concert where it's like that i've been to like yeah one where it's opposite where it's like Lil dirk and you're like oh man i wonder outside like if people are gonna start getting into it like you start yeah. thinking about like i don't know is is 
So <laughs> people are gonna get shot and shit. I don't know. So but. here's here's the thing I don't understand. Okay, when when you're at a concert and you're obviously, you know, fanboy, fangirl, crazy yeah, yeah. over whoever's performing, what the hell good does it do throwing a bunch of random shit at them? Bro, I, like, I have I no guess, idea. I, I guess I, I, I don't get it. Like Bro, People throw their phones because they want him to pick it up and then give it back. But like some of them, they just come out of nowhere. He catches it and just fucking flings it back. And it's just like, yeah. well, stop. It's like, like, I can't do anything. So, so like the, the chances that he's going to pick up your phone and then toss it exactly back to you it's in like a, in a, like a big ass crowd of people. Like, yeah, he Bro. probably, yeah, it's going to miss and then it's going to fall on the ground and then you, you can't you find your stomp. freaking phone. Bro, yeah. I remember I, I went to a Nav concert, bro. I dropped my phone and for, but I was so high, bro. I was looking down like, <laughs> that's it. I'm not going to find it. And thankfully some dude like picked it up and gave it to me. But I don't know. It just made me think like, I've I've never been to a concert where it's like that, where it's almost like uncomfortable. Like, have yeah. you? My, my concert experience was a lot different than like, like what you guys had. Like you guys growing up, obviously in, you know, cities, right? Yeah. You guys it's were surrounded. Wild. You guys were surrounded by, you know, like big performances. Um, and I, I, I've, I've went to, you know, a lot of concerts. Um, I'm actually, uh, Chris Brown and little baby are coming no. here. Uh, next, they're coming here, uh, next Sunday, I believe. I, I believe it's like the 28th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I got tickets. Yeah. Where, where are they going to be at? T-Mobile. T-Mobile. Oh, so Chris Brown, little baby are coming. So like, for example, like I, I go to concerts, Ben do a lot of concerts, yeah, yeah. but you know, uh, coming from Montana, we, we actually didn't typically get a lot of like big performers. Mm -hmm. Um, number one, there isn't really arenas. Uh, there's a few, uh, football stadiums like in Western Montana yeah. that would get like some bigger acts. Um, but first and foremost, there was, you know, very, very few of those that, that happened when they did happen, the whole fucking state, you know, pretty much we'll goes, go. you know? <laughs> um, but number two, it's a lot different crowd. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We like, Chicago, like, bro. like for example, I was just in, um, I, I didn't go to it, but I was back in Bozeman, Montana, uh, over 4th of July weekend mm. and Kenny Chesney, um, you probably never even heard of him. Never. Okay. Kenny, Ch <laughs> okay. like Kenny Chesney is probably one of like the biggest country music artists. Oh, shit. Um, a, a, you know, and, and not only like one of the biggest, but he's, he's been around now for like a long time. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, he, he started coming out with songs, dude. I remember like he was on the come up when I was, um, you know, I, I was probably in like high school. Um, you're talking like 2002, 2003, yeah. some shit like that. So like, obviously 2022. So he's been doing this now 15, 20 years, but, um, there's a lot of like big, um, country music artists that come there. We, we will get like an occasional, um, occasional like hip hop artist, R and B artist, but a lot of times up there, they go to a little bit like smaller venues. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, like just because it's the, it, unfortunately the, there's a lot of the people there don't listen to that type of music. Yeah. Um, so I think a, a lot of artists get a little nervous trying to sell out bigger places in Montana when they know that that's, that's not really the scene there. But I remember it was, it was Lil Dirk. It was, it was Meek Mill. It was Lil Uzi. It was Fetty Woo! Wap. It was uh Lil Wayne. And it was like, there was some more, it was Kendrick was there, bro. Kendrick was the last guy and oh, future, bro, this yeah. shit was crazy. And I remember yeah. I was like, Oh Dude, my God. I remember seeing the summer jam lineup and like, to be honest, I can't even remember anymore. Like who it all was, but I just remember seeing the lineup and I'm like, how this does like, amazing. like, like, how does this happen? Bro, it was like, like bangers this is like, bangers yeah, it just, bangers. yeah. Like every artist that you would turn on the radio that you would be hearing on like a hip hop station or, you know, Sirius XM or, um, you know, any just club banger. They were there. Dude, I, I, I'll just never forget. Like, that one was, like, probably the craziest one I went to. But I remember, like, it was me and I was right out of high school. Like, bro, we're smoking on the way there. We got a bottle. And it's just, like, immediately, bro, you see people on some bullshit right away. Yeah. And it was just like, hey, man, we got to be careful going in, going out. It's like, you see, bro, you, we're leaving the stadium and people yeah. are sprinting to their cars and like, swear, like going back and yeah. forth. I'm like, oh my God, bro, is he gonna run away? Is he running away from somebody? Is he going and then coming back? Yeah. And it's just like, you get full with like this anxiety. It's just like, God, who knows? And yep. of course, like, shit's always popping off, but I don't know, man. I'll just never forget that. But I love concerts. I love concerts. Yeah. And like, I, now, you know, not to sound any type of way but it's just like hey man get me like in a section away like, yeah let me get a table or whatever do you, do you, you know have I mean? do you have any um like any like really memorable like concert 
concert memory that you you'd be like, oh, you all remember this concert? Probably the the, the, the WGCI one. The, the yeah. summer jam with like all those people because they were like popping, bro. Like yeah. that's when like Fetty Op was like uh, doing Trap Queen, fucking Lil Durk. That was his first time performing in Chicago. Meek Mill, but he came out to Hold Up, Wait a Minute. Yeah. Future came out to um, March Madness. All this, crap, yeah. like, oh my god, what is happening, bro? Yeah, um, probably that. I yeah. went to, I've been to a lot, but the, that one was because with my boys too, and we were just yeah. fucking passing weed everywhere. That shit was my, the, the, the earliest memories I kind of have of like music was. In uh, in Montana, the only time we really would get like bigger artists would be for like uh, state fairs. So we would go. So so so, bro, we would go to um, we'd go over to Minot, North Dakota. Um, They had their their state fair there, and they would always have you know the state the state fair was there for like you know eight nine days. Started one weekend, ended you know started on a Friday, and then it would go through all the way the next Friday through that weekend. So it was always like eight nine days kind of thing. And I just remember it was like that was the cool thing to do was like okay we got to go to the state fair so we can see these artists because that's the only time they're going to come is like, yeah. you know, a big attraction, like a fair where there's going to be a lot of people obviously going to, but, um, yeah, dude, I, I just remember, you know, being like uh, high school, college years, like road tripping over that's to wild. these state fairs, like, you know, drinking, drinking bush light, drinking so many damn beers yeah. during <laughs> like, dude, I remember, I remember just like these, these country concerts would be like so crammed. And like, as I said, we we're just all drinking beer after beer after beer. I remember just being there and I'm like, Yo, like I, I don't even want to like get out of where I'm at to like go take a piss. And yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like pissing, people, bro. bro. I was like literally like I was like find a bottle on the ground. I was like pissing, like <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, pissing yeah. in bottles. It was like it was the most country hillbilly shit ever, bro. I remember <laughs> this this one concert I went to with my buddy. It was in Milwaukee, bro. So it was a fucking drive, but we it was me and him, and we took a big those huge gallons of Hennessy with us. Yeah. And it was J. Cole, but YG was opening for him. It was like Hell the craziest yeah. thing. And I remember we're going through, bro. I had like a few pre-rolls. The people next to us, they had like um, like cigarettes. And we're like, yo, you want to trade? And it was like, because it's an outside like yeah. am- amphitheater thing. And I remember we're leaving. I'm like, man, it's hot as fuck. I'm like, let's go. Because we knew we we're going to sit in traffic. For- we we're yeah. going to be in the parking lot for two hours. So we're walking out. And I'm like, bro, let's get a hat. I'm like, there's nobody here. Like, they're opening yeah. the merch thing. Let's just go. And I'm zooted out of my mind, bro. I'm so <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. I posted the picture the other day of like a throwback of me and when YG. But I'm in line and my friend taps me. He's like, hey, YG's right there. I'm like, I'm like, where? And it's a little skinny dude, bro. Like that was before he was yeah. on his like fashion shit. He had like yeah. jean shorts and a prior shirt this size. Yeah. You know I mean, he's this fucking skinny. Yeah. And he's just sitting there, sit, like whatever. And there's people with like, uh, there's like three or four big dudes like around him, but yeah. not. Like standing there, just all chilling, like you know, just kind of whatever. Yeah. And he, I, I went to go get a hat, um, the Bompton. It's like a Bompton hat. Yeah. And I was like, um, I didn't have a pen or anything on me, yeah. so I'm like, I'm like, you know, we go up. I'm like, fuck, should we go up? Because we were the first ones. Yeah. Bro, the second we, we we go up, and my friend took a picture. Everybody started swarming, and then immediately some guy was like, "Hey, fifty bucks to take a picture with him." Yeah. Well, we got ours for free, and I was like, "Bro, can you sign my hand?" He's like, "You got." He looked at me. He's like, "You got pen." I'm like, I've got nothing, bro. You don't yeah. got a fucking pen or something or yeah. a sharpie. He was like, sorry, blood. I'm like, damn. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but he took the picture with me and it was crazy. But I remember like, it was just, he was so ch- just like, just, you would never know. Yeah. But I met him, but I didn't get the fucking signature. But anyways. Yeah. Yes, sir. Did you see that interview with uh, 50 Cent on The Breakfast Club? Yes. Bro. First off, I love 50. Me too. I love 50. Me too. 50's, 50's first album, uh, the Get Rich or Die Trying album. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Bro. The best. So my brother, he's your age, bro. And okay. I remember I would like listen to it, but my parents made me get the clean version. So okay. okay. It was like four words in the whole song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. But I remember, bro, the first CD I ever got from him was uh, um, the, the Master. Yep. That was like yeah. my true introduction where I was like, yeah. I'm like going to school, just mobbing, looking at motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I've always, I've always loved 50. But bro, in that interview, it's so crazy because when you see him there, like, and then you go back and watch like other interviews or you yeah. watch Get Rich or Die Trying the movie. Yeah. Obviously, it's, there's a huge age difference and stuff like that. But like, yep. I don't know. I just couldn't help but notice, bro, like his, his like demeanor, his growth, even yeah. the way he speaks, where he speaks like, yeah, Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm a businessman. I'm a businessman yeah. now. I'm a, yeah. I'm a mogul. I have TV shows. I'm the reason why Stars is even around. Exactly. And, and yeah. it's, it was really interesting, but he was just, bro, from music to like his past beefs to what yeah. he's doing right now to the yeah. future stuff. It's just like, 
I don't know. I, I've, I watch content all the time, and that's one of the ones that stuck out to me from this whole week. Did yeah. you watch the whole thing? Yeah. I, I honestly only watched, like, that little clip. Yeah. Um, like, the little clip where he talks about um, kind of reuniting with, uh, with, with Floyd. And, but that was so strange. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was, like, because their beef stems from forever, but, like, I don't know. He's, it was basically, yeah. like, they're cool now, right? Yeah. No, like, like 50, dude, 50's, uh, 50's been interesting. Yeah. Like, you know, he, he came out like super hard, obviously had like huge success. Like I think the get rich or die trying album was like, you know, broke. I, I don't even know what, what, what records, but it mm -hmm. was like, you know, number of albums, plaques, et cetera. Like he absolutely crushed it. I'm pretty sure but, like diamond, but like, bro. like, like 50, for example, he's, he's like one of those, uh, he's like one of the, the people in the entertainment industry that literally took like the opportunity and completely freaking ran with it yeah. you know like you see some of these guys that get put onto music they maybe have an album a hit song whatever it is um 50 truly dove into the inter entertainment industry as a freaking whole like he dropped that he or he dropped get rich or die trying came out with a series of albums over the next you know five to ten years basically after that mm -hmm. he he got into business early bro Super where, early. Where, where his first big deal i remember was with um coca-cola um when yeah, when, yeah. when they bought um uh, they but, bought vitamin, vitamin water. water yeah yeah vitamin water so you know yeah, he he was he was about his money. He was about his paper. Um, obviously, started bumping shoulders. When you start coming on to that kind of money, those you surround yourself with a lot of the times have money as well. And yeah. you know, he obviously they just teach you about the game. You yep. know what I mean, like they're the ones who can help navigate you through. Like, yep. You know, I'm sure that. Yeah. I'm sure he he didn't just want to like make a show. Or maybe he did. Yeah. But he needed the people to kind of help him, and I yeah. think that's where like. Maybe he met somebody from Stars, or, yeah. or you know, kind of just yeah made that. Dude, wh where I give that. him credit too is is you know there's a there's a lot of people that get into like you know music or even even like athletes or even actors and all of them try to tap into like that other industry yeah. within entertainment. You see athletes sometimes trying to rap. You you, you sometimes trash. And then and then I mean you obviously see a lot of a lot of uh, you know musicians they try to you know tap into acting for example. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got to give it to 50 bro like I remember some of his first movies like I never thought he was horrible, but you could you could definitely tell like he was a green actor. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. And to go to go from not only you know uh, jumping into a whole new industry, but continuing to make movie after movie, bro. Fifty has a bucket of fucking out, um bucket of, of movies that that he's actually been in, and it's a lot of like just you know. Uh, it, a, lot, a lot of those like didn't even release in theaters kind of stuff like um i wonder it, stuff like that but yeah yeah he was dude um, you know 50 was a beast and he didn't give up he straight up was like i don't care if i suck at this or my shit's not popping mm -hmm. like i'm gonna keep being involved in uh you know tv i'm gonna keep being involved keep doing music um and then he obviously stumbled upon this whole star situation yeah which and is, i think I, that's what like made him super yeah mainstream, like like that's like what made everybody. him big now yeah. Um, you know, star stars took him to a huge, uh, a huge whole new level. Honestly, well, I think he also left, and then now he's like coming back to do some more stuff. Yeah. Did you ever watch Power? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Bro, so Power I was the, shit. the first episode, I was yeah. like, oh my god. Yeah. I see why everybody's fucking. Yeah. Why, why everybody's, everybody's so, dude? To this. I I got on the Power so late. Like, I, I mean, I'm Me too. I, Me too. honestly like kind of embarrassed to even like say this, but yo, I was like. I didn't really jump on power until I would say like like six seasons in. For me too. I I think they ended up doing what was it nine? They did it nine was, seasons. Yeah, it was a lot. So yeah, I I literally was like it was like five or six, and I remember I just binge straight binge watched, yeah. and I just was like yo I like I, I watched like the first couple episodes, um, and I'm like yo I'm freaking hooked. Bro. And a month and a half, two months later, I I literally just, just ran through. Yeah. Did you were you on a late because you just naturally like reject what everybody wants to do? Or like you were just like, oh, I'll just get mm -hmm. to it. Bro, for for me, it was like it was honestly like a it, it was it was like the the time in my life yeah. that that all this came out, truthfully. Really? So this was I would have to look back to see what year power actually came out. Yeah. Um, but like I left Montana like 2013. I was in a 
a little ski town in Wyoming, Jackson Hole. Mm -hmm. um, all people did was like outdoorsy shit. And yeah, then yeah. after that, I was in Hawaii. Um, and I actually didn't even like, and keep, keep in mind, streaming's come a long ways in the last like five to six years. But yeah. when I first moved to Hawaii, um, I actually, I, I didn't have, um, I didn't have any TV. Um, like I had, a, I had an Apple TV, um, that I, you know, what things you could stream back then, yeah. um, I, I would stream, but I had no, I had no cable TV. Um, That's wild. so it was more just like when I moved, I moved to California, like 2000, uh, 16, 17. And that's when I was just like, you know, I, I you know, just catching you up just started everything. hearing about it, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro, I was, I was literally kind of just like off the grid for a second. I feel like living in Hawaii, I just, uh, TV didn't really interest me. And yeah, um, especially when you're out there, there's so much shit to do. Yeah. Too. So bro, I was always, um, I don't, I'm not really like a TV guy. Like when with like shows, like I never watched game of Thrones. I never really watched anything else just cause I was yeah. like. I don't know, a little weird, like, let me just, if everybody's watching, I don't want to watch yeah. it. But I remember my wife started watching, like, uh, we're like, she's like, oh, have you seen this? I'm like, no, yeah. no let's, let's check it out. And, bro, first episode, I was like, let's go. Yeah. So, so the, the one thing I think, and this is what kind of sparked this conversation was, yeah. and you and I were talking about this before we were filming right now. Um, and, you know, we, we were talking about, so you have... Floyd, who's obviously, you know, one of the, the best boxers of all time, um, even post boxing career, he's been, to, you know, beast. he's doing appearances, he's traveling, he's doing this and that. I mean, he's, he, he's going to be well for the rest of his life. Yeah. Um, but, you know, Floyd and 50, you know, they had, a, I think it was like 2012, they were both involved with Mayweather Promotions. Obviously, Floyd's company. Yeah. Um, Floyd brought 50 into the picture. Um, they had a disagreement, and then they went separate ways. And so you're looking out 2012, and you know here we are in uh, 2022. So what what you like? What do you feel made them rekindle this? You know, basically 10 years ago. Bro, I don't know because <laughs> we're, yeah. we're talking about this earlier, and it's like I don't know if. I mean, here's the thing. I know me personally, I need to grow to be able to forgive people. Like, yeah. I just, I have this natural thing where I'm like, you know, if it's fuck you, it's fuck you forever. Yeah. And where I'm at right now is still going to be like that. I still have no want to, like, want to rekindle. Yeah. But I, th I also think, I think it's like when there's Floyd, who's, I'm pretty sure, close to a billionaire. Yeah. And 50, who's... Maybe not there, but he's still got... He's a mogul. I don't know. Like, there's, It's not fun anymore because it's not poking... You yeah, haven't yeah. really seen them poke at each other. The last time I yeah. saw them poke at each other was when 50 Cent was like, if Floyd can read a, a one page out of a Harry Potter yeah. book, I'll donate, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and then like Charlamagne on The Breakfast Club released um, Floyd trying to read these drops. Did you, yeah. ever, did you ever hear that? No. He was like reading off like, welcome to the... Um, okay, re redo that. <laughs> and he's like, welcome to the Breakfast Club. Uh, and then yeah. he would just like stutter and it was it was hilarious. But anyways, and that's when they started poking at each other. But anyways, I guess to, to say, I don't know. I don't I don't really know. I think it's just like where they're at maturely, where they're at, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, in, in business and finance. I don't yeah. understand why there would be... It's probably more expensive to keep beefing because they... Like, yeah. Some brands might be yep. like, no, nah, you're into it with, yep. you know, the biggest sports entity in the world, you know? You know what's something I always, uh, I always found interesting, and uh, 50 actually said this in that interview. Um, he was like, you know, game respects game, and I, um, although I was beefing with Floyd, if you notice, he always still called him champ. If, if, if like, he deep down really hated this guy like mm -hmm. it sounded like he did, he wouldn't still put that on his name. Yeah. And, really uh, you know, so, so that was one good, you know, um, one point I always found interesting. Um, and the, uh, 50 said he, the reason why he did that is he was like, I, I didn't, I didn't want to take that away um, from Floyd and all that Floyd uh, achieved um, as an athlete and obviously going down as one of the best boxers of all time. Yeah. Um, the other thing I, I'll say is, and 50 said this in the interview, I don't need Floyd and Floyd don't need me. Mm -hmm. And that was a big reason why they just kept prolonging this and prolonging this and prolonging this. And when uh, 50 first, uh, I believe it was 50 approached Floyd, um, you know, the first thing Floyd said was, you know, why did you take so long? 
Yeah. So yeah. It, it was it was kind of interesting where it was like hmm. they almost both knew that like it was it was like low key childish, but they're both in their lane doing their own thing, making their own money. Like and truthfully, just like Fifty said, is they don't need each other. I think the, the last point I'll make on that is where the. Um, they were at, they were at a, um, they were at a comedy show. It was, uh, Monique, uh, mm. Monique, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, she seen that 50, uh, 50 and Floyd were both there and she went off on a tangent, um, on them for like 10 minutes. Whoa. And so it, it was like, it was one of those things where I think it was like, you know, knock, knock, like, yeah, yo, yeah. like, 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 get, like, yeah. get over this shit. Listen. We appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. The audio this Thank time. Thank you, Gio. Gio, we appreciate you. Thank you, bro, contributing to the episode. Um, anyways, we appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.